Hello and welcome. My name is Stacy, and today I have a very fun video, a fashion haul for autumn uh, and a little into winter, really. <laughs> I live in California, specifically Southern California, and it's pretty mild all year long. So a lot of what I have will really be used into the winter time. So I'm excited to share with you all the stuff that I've got. And I got most everything from a recent weekend trip to Palm Springs for a girl's getaway with my mom and my sister. So it was really fun and we shopped. <laughs> so someone needs to take my wallet from me. <laughs> but no, it wasn't too bad and I had been planning on purchasing these items already and I'm actually glad we got to visit the stores. I was interested in, in order to actually try on the clothes, because as you'll know, when I go through this haul, sometimes when you buy things online, it doesn't quite turn out the way you think it will. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. We have a lot to cover, and if you stick around to the end, I have some fun little items I would love to share. So, let's get started. Also, if you hear a little chihuahua snoring, that is Chewie sleeping on the bed behind me. So, I do apologize for his snores. Anyways, let's begin. In case you're new here, I uh, love to collect crew neck sweaters mm -hmm. along with my sister. She loves it too. So, we've had this fun tradition of buying crew neck sweaters for each other, especially seasonal ones. And I got her one a little over a month ago, maybe, or maybe about a month ago. And she decided to get me a crew neck sweater. <laughs> this is the sweater. It's called Mean Ghouls, <laughs> like Mean Girls. And it's just so cute. I love Halloween and I'm quickly collecting all the cute and fun Halloween sweaters. So I'm so glad she got me one. She also has the same one and I believe it's from Etsy and if she can let me know of the seller, I'll try and link it below. But yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love girly Halloween stuff. I'm definitely like cozy Halloween girl aesthetic. Um, cozy cutesy. Um, horror is kind of like not super uh, my jam, but I love that Halloween can really fit a ton of different niches in and of itself. So I'm definitely the cutesy girl kind. I just love it so much. So this is another crew neck sweater. Just can't have enough apparently. Um, and this sweater I got with my mom and my sister in Palm Springs. We got matching sweaters. So it was actually kind of meaningful that way. Um, although all my sweaters to me are meaningful. So uh, We got just like a very general Palm Springs a very minimalistic and I really love that the vibe. I like to have a couple sweaters that are kind of more minimalistic and I can sort of wear throughout the year. Um, so yeah, super cute. Kind of looks sporty in a way. Um, and I get, I think in this one I got XL and the other one was also XL, which usually I'll get in a large 
but I find XL gives me even like the baggier feel so I'll kind of oscillate between larges and XLs but these two I got XL and I'm really happy about getting those sizes um, and they're unisex brands so yeah I find that if it's like in the men's I treat it like unisex sizes and if it's women's sizes I'll really go up a size because for whatever reason women's clothing they just tend to make really tight fitting all the time I'm not sure why <laughs> I don't know anyways so love this so much and I love that it also is like a what's what's I'm, what am I thinking of I love that it's like also the memory of our weekend getaway so love that okay this next couple of items are from Old Navy and I ordered these a couple weeks ago because I've been intentionally trying to buy certain pieces that I've been wanting for a little while so I have this vision of like a fall outfit that I've been trying to buy pieces for and it contains like long black boots a plaid skirt and a white cable knit sweater kind of like the Rory Gilmore sweater or the when Harry met Sally Harry Burns in the movie his cable knit sweater um, so I've been on the hunt Old Navy had some plaid skirts or one plaid skirt and I decided to get it because I do love Old Navy I love how comfortable the clothing is and the like variety of sizes I got this plaid skirt from Old Navy and I got a large um, because it isn't stretchy material however it is a bit big on me um, so I probably could have gone for a medium but I don't know that that would have necessarily been a better size around like the waist I think it's the length that's just a tad longer than I would like that being said, it's still a great skirt and one that I feel like I can wear a lot to work and anything that I can wear to work, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of even if it's not something that like, you know, is a night out outfit I find that I wear my work clothes far more often so it's nice and I can obviously wear it wherever else very dark academia vibes so this was oh it doesn't have the price on it but I'll link it below if it's still available um, it's just I think it's like the one plaid skirt that they have right now um, it's got like orange I want to say like a black it's like a houndstooth that so much so far and I tried to find a cable knit sweater for it which I'll show in a minute um, but yeah that is my plaid skirt that I got from Old Navy I also got from Old Navy um, this jean shirt button down the sleeves are all This is giving me Chessie from Parent Trap vibes, uh, so I love that. It's really nice and soft. It's their, I think it's like the boyfriend style jean shirt uh, button down. So the boy boyfriend styles are a lot baggier. So I went with a medium. chest so often sometimes with button downs I have to size up otherwise <laughs> but um this was really roomy and comfortable and sort of like I could button it up if I wanted to or treat it like an over shirt layer um, so this is what it looks like very cute very small buttons. I had some trouble trying to unbutton them with longer nails. I have short nails now, but uh, with long nails. 
house. It was, it was difficult. <laughs> Yes, I love it so much and I feel like it's a really great piece just to have all year round and it's something I've been thinking of getting for a long time. Um, so yeah, fall I feel like is when all my favorite pieces of clothing get released at once. Uh, summer is probably my least favorite season. It's not even so much about the heat, which is an element that I don't personally always love, but I think it's just like, you know, I enjoy the sunshine. Um, I think it must be the heat then because I just hate having to wear just like a tiny tank top and shorts and like I can't wear, you know, other clothing and feel comfortable if it's a really hot day, but thankfully California where I live is not the worst, so I shouldn't be complaining. Um, <laughs> so. So, the next item, this is the cable knit sweater I researched and tried to find, and I f went on TikTok, like I usually do, to try to research clothing nowadays, and I found this sweater, there was a lot of sweaters out there right now, um, and I love this brand on Amazon called Illusory, or Illus Illusory, Illusory? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Illusory. I'll link it below, but I've bought from this brand before and I love their pieces. So I was like, oh my goodness, they have a cable knit sweater. I'm gonna get it. Well, the girl who tried it on in her TikTok video, uh, I think she's just a lot tinier and taller as a person. And I failed to find out that this is actually a sweater dress. <laughs> And not like a proper, you know, sweater length. Now, I don't hate it. I actually really love this piece, but it's a sweater dress. It's not like a sweater. It almost goes down to my knees. So, I wanted to pair this with the plaid skirt, and it ends up covering the plaid skirt completely. So, <laughs> it's like an outfit fail. The one time I try to recreate something on Pinterest, you know. Um, but this is the brand. Oh, you can see. I've bought from them before. I do love their pieces. Um, it's like the Rory Gilmore style uh, sweater. It does have buttons, but you really don't notice them. And it's only on one shoulder, so. Isn't this so cute? Love it. This is like the fall sweater of the year, or of the 2023, or whenever you're watching this. It is the quintessential fall sweater. This is like the outfit you wear in your living room for Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, like that's just like, it reminds me. beautiful. It's not itchy. It's just too long in order to kind of achieve the look that I was imagining. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty long. If you wanted to, if maybe you were taller or you could get away with a really small size, you could really size down. I think I sized to, this is a medium. I'm 5'3 and it almost goes to my knees. So, um, and I usually am in like a medium top, small to large, depending on the top, really. Sweaters are kind of baggier, so I can get away with smaller sizes. Um, but yeah, it just really depends, so it really is a bit too long to be like a regular sweater, so that was my bad. I didn't read the part where it was like a sweater dress. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's cute, and I will be keeping it, and can't wait to break it out for the fall winter. So, this next haul portion is all H&M, and it's a lot, so let's
let's prepare ourselves. Uh, it's a very big H&M bag, so let's get right into it. This next item, my mom ended up getting it for me um, as like a early birthday present. And it's a vegan leather blazer and, from H&M. And I've actually been on the hunt for a leather blazer from anywhere. Um, and this one caught my eye when we were in the store. And I swear, going with your girlfriends or your mom or your sister or whoever going shopping with girls is like a blessing and a curse <laughs> a curse because my money drains from my account but a blessing because it's just so much easier to get feedback from women um, who just understand what looks good on you aesthetically and like I feel like sometimes a lot of men just don't very refreshing to like go into a store and get that initial feedback um, although sometimes if I'm shopping by myself I'll still send my sister photos in the dressing room <laughs> if I really need you know her opinion but this jacket is so cute it's a blazer leather blazer again vegan blazer Kind of pricey. I mean, maybe like 60 something bucks. I think there was a sale going on. I'm not really sure for which items, but you know, if I can find this, I'll link it below. I will say a lot of H&M stuff is in their stores and not on their website. So apologies in advance if that's the case, but I'm so excited. I've been looking for something like this for a while. I feel like it will be great for mostly like evenings in the fall and winter when I want to feel a little bit more classy. I feel like a lot of my jackets are very casual and when I have like a nice outfit underneath, I feel like a, a casual jacket ends up like taking away from that when I want to keep that elevated look. So, very cute. it on. So, I love it. I feel like it's so nice. And it fits me like a good length. It's not too long and it's not too short. It's just right. So, I love that. Okay, so, really happy I got this. And looking forward to styling it for the season. The actual reason we even went to H&M uh, on our weekend getaway in Palm Springs was I wanted to find sort of a take two, if you will, a cable knit sweater. I was determined to find something that was not like a million dollars because I feel like all the other options were just super expensive out there. Not to say H&M, it can be expensive, so. Uh, but it was kind of like my best shot at finding sort of kind of what I really was looking for. So, lo and behold, I found a cable knit sweater. So excited. And this is a proper sweater. It's not like a sweater dress, although I'm sure if you sized up a lot, it could be. This is the cable knit sweater that is just much more of what I was looking for. I think I call this like the Harry Burns sweater from like when Harry met Sally style and the other one I have is more Rory Gilmore. So now I have like two vibes I can go with. Um, this one could more than likely go with a plaid skirt. That being said, I realized the whole, like, oversized sweater with the pl 
plaid skirt peeking through. I'm just not finding the best combination. Like, it just doesn't look right on me. That being said, I still got the sweater because it can go with anything. Um, and if I tuck it a certain way, it does look really cute with the skirt. So I'm not too concerned. Um, it's just a quintessential basic sweater. So I love it. It's definitely very thick. So, well, it's not like the thickest sweater, but it's pretty thick. So I won't be able to wear it until it's a lot cooler. I would definitely say if you're someone who's very sensitive to texture, um, definitely try on the sweater first to make sure you're comfortable with it. Um, I usually like to wear an undershirt just because some sweaters, most often I don't like feeling it right, right up against me, like the scratchy, even the softer wool or cotton or whatever we use nowadays um, can even feel a little bit too much. So I end up opting for an undershirt anyway, and the sweaters feel comfortable, but I didn't find it to be incredibly itchy or unbearable. I don't think I would have bought it if it was. Um, but yeah, isn't it so pretty? It's not the pattern. I, I like the pattern of the other one more because it's more of what I was looking for, but I love this too. So, um, it's perfect <laughs> in my eyes. So, and it's, uh, it's like a crew neck, neck, and my sister ended up getting one too. So, it's pretty wide sleeve, and the back is like a ribbed pattern. So, this is my sweater, and I'm so excited to wear it the variety of things. So now we will move on to the next item. So I ended up finding another plaid skirt and I kind of like this one more than the other one that I got from Old Navy just a bit, but I am going to keep the one from Old Navy because I feel like it's just a good option and I still like that one a lot. Um, I could have returned it, but I just, I decided I, I didn't want to do that. This is the skirt I got. It's like a bigger pattern square houndstooth with some tan and black white in it. The best part, in my opinion, is the elastic waistband. There's no zipper, so you just slip it right on. And I love that. It's so comfortable. in a size large. It's only 15 bucks, so great. Love it. Apparently 98% recycled polyester. I know that's not always like the most amazing fabric, but I enjoy this skirt. Um, it's got like a little slit in the corner. This was like the length I was looking for as well. I did try this on with the cable knit sweater and again it was just like a little like my form kind of looked like it was getting lost and I have I have a feeling it really has to do with how small my frame is like not that I'm a small person but just like if that makes any sense like I was just looking like I was swallowed up by clothing. <laughs> Um, and I feel like that can happen to so many of us who, um, you know, drapey clothing isn't really giving the effect that a lot of other people get, so. <laughs> That's okay, though. I still love this skirt. I can still pair it with the sweater in a specific way. Uh, just not quite the way Pinterest has me thinking, so. You live and you learn. This is the outfit anxiety and crises that I go through where I try to like be cool and like with it and I end up flopping uh, and now I have all these clothes <laughs> which I love but you know I have to do a little extra work to style them to suit me so we'll just experiment okay I 
I'm really excited about this because I previously got a black skirt like this, but I, I actually like this a lot better. Um, and I think if I don't end up wearing that other one for a little while, I might just give it away and swap it out for this one. It's your classic black slip skirt. So it's like a thinner material and it's great. Um, it's not like too, too thin, but it's not too thick and it just really sits nicely where I want it and I think that's kind of the important thing. And I think that's why I, I, it stuck out to me so much. Um, I got a size 12. Um, so, it's like that. It's like a midi length and I don't believe, yeah, there's no like slits on the side. So again, a very work appropriate skirt. Um, and that was kind of my goal was to find things I could wear to work and wear outside of work as well. Uh, since I'm at work pretty much most of the day every day, so might as well have nice clothes that I like. So my sister ended up grabbing these jeans um, and she's like, just try them on. They are probably going to look great on you. I was a little skeptical because they are very wide leg. Like this wide and jeans in general in main big store box stores, if you will, uh, tend to be pretty long and don't always serve petite. So all most jeans can come and come out looking really long on me, and I don't want to have to go to the tailor all the time. So I like to try to find cropped jeans or petite jeans if I can. And sometimes H&M does serve those things. Um, but she picked these up and I was like a little skeptical. But I put them on and they look amazing. Uh, they are the wide high waist. They're the comfort stretch wide high waist full length um, in a size 12. So they are high waisted, this like darker jean color and wide legged, and it ends up like being really flattering on me. Um, so I feel like sometimes wide legged things, depending on the length, can look unflattering, but these looked really nice. And I can cuff the bottoms up as well. My sister was telling me that's trendy right now, so. I'm not going to tailor them and it is becoming boot season and I think with boots they're going to be like a great length. So I'm not going to tailor them now but if I need to in the future and make them a little shorter I can. But this was a great pair of jeans and I love it. Um, can't wait to wear them for the season. We are almost done with H&M, I swear. <laughs> Feels like it does keep going on and on. Um, so this next item is a sweater. Um, I was just really into the sweaters and it's like a quarter neck sweater. I feel like this is a very loungy sweater that I've been looking for. I love these types of quarter neck, like v-necks, and you know, putting like a shirt underneath, I mean, I just love it. Um, and I don't really have anything like this, so I'm excited. I only got, I got like the smallest size they had left, which was an XL, but I'm okay with that. I like baggy stuff. I love it and very cozy again and a great neutral color. Um, I already have a lot of other color sweaters like black and I had like one gray sweater. I'm not hugely into gray but I do love this like oatmeal color. I've been into that color recently as well as the white cable knit. Um, 
for some reason those are just more attractive to me right now um, and I have a lot of like burnt orange sweaters too or not a lot but I have at least like two <laughs> so I feel like that's plenty in that color uh, to have so yeah that is that is the next sweater I got this is the last sweater I promise <laughs> and uh, this is something that I've been looking for a striped I feel like I just got rid of all the striped clothing I had since like 2013 um, and then they came back so we really need to like figure it out everybody <laughs> because I can't keep up with the times apparently uh, so I got this sweater um, it's just like a thin stripe turtleneck Let's see if I can prominently show and so that's the sweater again it's like a off-white oatmeal color like a taupey color and a black stripe and I really like this thinness of a stripe on me um, I do feel like it's flattering I feel like some of the other stripes I'm like it's giving me 2013 a little bit and I really just got out of that phase <laughs> I had so many stripes that I didn't know what to do with myself, so, um, but now it's coming back into my closet. And, yeah, I can't wait to wear this. It's so cozy, so French. Uh, that's another thing. I feel like H&M, they're always trying to be, like, French. <laughs> like, they actually have a lot of like sweaters with Paris on it. It might be because they're a European company, I'm almost positive, but they always have like crew neck sweaters or sweaters or t-shirts with like Paris on it. <laughs> and New York, I don't know. Anyway, so very French, chic, but I, it's cozy and I like to be cozy at work. So that's my jam. So very excited. The last thing I got from H&M is this shirt. It's like a see-through long sleeve and you can kind of see but it's like glittery. Like a small glitter, very tiny. Um, I've been looking for something like this for so long, something that's just long sleeve but see-through to wear like a bralette underneath and it's very like sexy night top but it's a long sleeve so it feels more like comfortable if you're comfortable with something see-through of course which I am um I just feel like it kind of doesn't uh require me to wear a jacket sometimes if I'm going out but I want to feel a little warmer which it really isn't that much warmer I just love a cute see-through top and I feel like that's kind of in. I was a little nervous because all they had left were smalls and extra smalls and I just went and went ahead and tried a small and it's pretty stretchy so I got away with it. Um, which I'm really glad they made it slightly more oversized uh, in, that, in that sense of like stretchiness. Some of these see-through tops can be pretty uh, non-stretchy, so really glad I got this. So those were all the H&M clothes I got, so it was a pretty big purchase. <laughs> Thankfully, I got a discount for signing up for their rewards, um, so that was great, and it ended up coming out way more inexpensive than, than I calculated, so thank goodness. So the next few items, last few items, are from Target and a couple other shops. I wanted to share the boots I got from Target. I shared these in my latest ASMR video, uh, the packing one for a trip. And they're actually the long black boots. Uh, these I got. These are the boots, like a chunky heel, not too high, 
so comfortable and I have a pretty wide calf I would say and these fit great so check it out if you can I'll see if I can link them below they're from Target it has like a zipper here and then you slip your foot in and it gives you room enough to like zip it up I don't know that's just how it is um, but it's just like a classic long boot I don't think I've had a long boot since I was like 15 years old like it's been a while I wasn't even a long boot girl when it was a huge thing back in like the 2010s Tw you know like I just I just wasn't into it at the time I liked other types of boots but now I'm like I want a nice long boot and I found one in the kind of style I really like like a thicker heel um, and black so Hopefully, if I achieve my plaid skirt, sweater, outfit dreams, uh, these will go great with them, and they, they do, because they look great. <laughs> Dresses, sweaters, I feel like this allows me to skip having to wear tights, which often my tights are like <laughs> ripped up and like not usable. These are awesome, and I love them so much. I ended up buying another pair of boots that have yet to be delivered. Um, I'll probably show a picture of them if I can find them. Um, but I bought those recently and um, have been looking for a pair of black boots. I wear out my black boots so much for like years and it's like only been since this last year where several of them need replacing. And I think it's because of the pandemic. I didn't buy things for a while and now I'm bringing out my shoes again these last few years for work and some of them are they're hitting their like couple years mark of being more, uh, you know, used um, and I love uh, Target shoes they really last me quite a while H&M shoes as well or from Nasty Gal um, I don't really get my shoes anywhere else I like Doc Martens, those last a long time, um, but I find that I don't wear my shoes too much that they like break down in less than a year. I really get a couple years out of them, which is awesome. So, I am so excited to wear these. So, this is from Anthropology. We stopped there during our weekend getaway for shopping and uh, I was actually looking for a cable knit sweater in anthropology but they had like weird styles and colors that I just wasn't really leaning towards but I noticed they had a on sale section for their jewelry and I got some earrings Bag. This is the little cloth bag, and I got the Bottega dupes, like the earrings that like every girl has. Okay, and I'm every girl. I'm basic. <laughs> Sue me. But uh, yeah, they are so cute. They were supposed to be like forty dollars. I think the original price tag. Let me see if I can see it. Yeah, like $45 is what their original price was. I got them, I got them off the little sales thing uh, and it was $24.95, but there was an extra 40% off and these were $16 on sale. The gold ones too was flabbergasted because the silver ones are still full price at $45 and this came out to $16 and they're not broken or anything so I'm just like okay we see a sale I'm there so these are so cute and just like I think really great as a statement earring without it being just like a lot going on so, so happy I got these and I might wear them tomorrow, to be honest, so <laughs> yeah, love them 
and that's from Anthropology. So check out those sales sections. I forget how fun they can be. When I tell you that someone really needed to stop me <laughs> because we went to Sephora. Yeah. Um, I just love makeup and I couldn't help it. Okay. So, what did I get from Sephora? I've had my eye on this product for a bit. It is I say it's the glowy super gel dewy illuminating fluid um, I don't think it's like quite like a primer it's more like it says it's a lightweight and multi-use illuminator to use all over the face or mixed with foundation so not really a primer at all but I love an illuminator and this is the product that's what it looks like in the box. Okay. Open it. So, that's what it looks like. I got the smaller size because I wanted to test it out a little bit. Just kind of like make sure I like it. Another product I got is from Merit. So it's the Bronze Balm Sheer Bronzer. Let's see if I can open it. Okay. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a stick bronzer. My sister was telling me she really likes it. I also like it's just easy to go, like have on the go. That's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. You just kind of put it on and I like this little cap. Honestly, I might keep that. Um, but yeah, that is from Merit. Like I mentioned. So, very fun. So, the next item I got is a Sephora lip color. It's their soft matte and easy um, smooth matte lip color in the color number two. Um, I think it's called Whatsoever, the name number two. So, it's really cute. It's um, very small, but that's fine with and it's a very like it comes out a little more red on me than I thought it would um, I just have to test it out more with some different lip liners I use but it's mainly like a more subdued uh, you know pinky color it's not very copper um, but it's really pretty and I love these kind of colors for fall for sure so Maybe I can do a little swatchy swatch. Um, so, that is the color. It's like a little pinker on the camera. <laughs> but it's really cute. So, I like it. I needed a new like lip color because I really don't have something like that. Um, so I'm glad I got it. <laughs> Chewy is still snoring, in case anyone wondered. I got a sample from Sephora, their Summer Fridays, um, jet lag mask. I've never tried this before, so I was like, I'll try it. I didn't even know I had samples I could get, so. Use those rewards. <laughs> I'm so glad to get this and I'm gonna save this for like a self-care night um, But I really need it. Okay, we've come to the end of the video where I'm gonna share some fun stuff um, That I got from Target and some special items So let me show you the first couple things. 
So I couldn't help it when I went to Target for some other random things I needed. I went by the dollar section, which is more like the $5 section, if we want to be honest about that. <laughs> and I picked up some cute little ceramic pumpkins that have lights in them and I love them. So I thought I would share them, like plug in my little mini decor moment with Target. Um, but yeah, these are super cute. <laughs> And I just love cute Halloween stuff. So, um, I realize I don't have anything like this, like lamps. Um, I have like fig candles, but I don't really have like pumpkin lamps. Um, and I just love little lamps. It's just something I enjoy. So, I'm so glad I got these and they like can go together, which is mm -hmm. so cute. So, they still have them there at Target. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They make me happy. The last um, surprise items that I wanted to share were actually my dog's costumes that I got from Target. <laughs> so the first one I got him was a little bat costume. <laughs> Maybe I'll insert a photo of me attempting to put my dog Chewy in said costume. He was less than thrilled. It's so cute, and I can't wait to take a ton of pictures of him during Halloween season. Um, and these are super inexpensive, so it wasn't like I broke the bank or anything. But, yeah. It's like metallic-y. The thing is, is he's actually like black fur, so it's not as contrasting as his other costume that I'm about to show you. But this one was really easy to put on him, and I like that it's very, like, it's not like a sweater. So if he's warm, it's not gonna, like, you know, overheat him, although he's a chihuahua. I'm not sure he gets overheated. But this is the other costume I got him. It's a little <laughs> pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. It's adorable. I think it's the cutest thing. And I will show a picture of me attempting to put it on him. Strangely, these uh, are both the same sizes, but the black one fits him fine because uh, the strap around his stomach is long enough, but for this one, the strap on the stomach is too small. But thankfully, I have some extra Velcro sitting around, so I think I'm gonna like try and make it work because I don't really feel like returning it. Um, and I. I'm not going to make him wear it for, like, long periods of time, so I think I can get away with it, but... So cute. <laughs> I know, I am just so excited. Uh, we got Chewy Thanksgiving Day night. Literally the day before Thanksgiving, I got Chewy last year. So this will be our upcoming anniversary with him this fall, so I'm really trying to celebrate, uh, getting him some costumes. If I find anything else for him anywhere, I might get it, but um, for now, I think these two are plenty, and yeah, I just think it's so cute. <laughs> that was my haul, our fashion haul, if you will, for me and Chewy, so let me know what you think. Um, it was a lot of work stuff, to be honest, like a lot of stuff I got I can wear to work, which is the point of a lot of my wardrobe, um, but yeah, I, I love the versatility of a lot of this and excited to wear it, so I hope you enjoyed this little fashion haul. It was not little, and it was a lot, <laughs> but, um, I love all the brands that I got them from. Um, I've been really enjoying, like, H&M and Old Navy, and I've even enjoyed buying from The Gap. I feel like Target's just like a staple for a lot of us. Um, sometimes the clothing can be a little off, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed getting all of these things, and I hope that you enjoyed as well. You can still hear Chewy in the background probably, but I hope you enjoyed seeing all these things that I got. Um, and hopefully inspires you to find the pieces you love and 
and joy and now I need to find out how to make more room in my closet. Um, mainly because I have a lot of crew neck sweaters I'm collecting mm -hmm. and those are kind of piling up so um, I am finding ways to make sure I'm not overextending mm -hmm. my closet <laughs> space um, beyond what's reasonable but also like I love collecting sweaters that are seasonal so I want to like maintain that collection um, so I'm finding my ways but mm -hmm. all that to say I appreciate you watching till the very end, if you stick, stuck around. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any pieces you want for the next fall, winter, or um, a lot of these pieces have been on my mind for a while, so uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for joining me, and I wish you all the best. And. I hope you are well, wherever you are. Okay, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. And